Hello everyone and welcome to a new playthrough here on the Game Professor channel. The Golden Compass. This is the movie tie-in from... Uh, ooh. I don't actually remember what year it's from. I will double check that and I'll, be, I'll put an annotation um, that indicates that. But we are going to start a new game here. And see what there is to discuss about games and adaptation specifically that is the um the approach that we are going to be taking with this as we play through um i have written a paper on this adaptation already i did that during my masters and it's a uh, it's a very interesting game to think about with adaptation. I am but here we'll listen. We witches are privy to many great occurrences from many worlds. And it is very rare indeed that a story engages us as this one did. The journey of Lyra Balakwa and Yorick Burneson. The tale of their friends and foes. It affects all of these worlds and everyone in them. All right. It is my pleasure to serve as your guide through these amazing adventures. Sounds good, Serafina. If Yurik is taking too much damage, don't forget to block. Good info. Right, so we have a slash, and we can block. All right. So... Whoops, there we go. Almost hit the wrong... Actually, Impressive. did hit the wrong button. And that was the sound of Pan. Let's see here. Now, one of the things that... Uh, really... be seen as a positive or a negative is how on rails the action is. Hello, wolf. Combat. Use X to attack and perform combos. Use A to block. Sounds good. Yurik, watch out! Alright. Go. All right. Rage. Defeating enemies, destroying objects, and collecting rage claws will fill Yorick's rage gauge. His rage gauge. How are we going to get through? <laughs> the ice is thin and weak. I am not. All right. Destroy objects. Some objects can be destroyed with Yorick's slash attacks. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Uh, no. All right. There we go. That was a badly done rage. We did it. Beautiful. I like destroying things. Here we are. Checkpoint. Look, Yurik. The camp where the Samoyeds took that boy. We must hurry. They will not keep him there for long. I'll take your word for it, Yurik. All right. Blood Moss. All right, blood moss. Blood moss. Gather blood moss to heal Yurik's wounds. Perfect. 
Ah! I don't need that one. How are we supposed to get down there? <laughs> now, um... Those platforms look like a giant staircase. I think you figured it out, Pan. <laughs> it's... The... Uh, there's a lot of funny little things with this. Um, now, if anybody has had much experience with, um... Let's not ever do that again. <laughs> games that are tie-ins tie with, uh, with films, they usually aren't very good. Oh, one sec. Alright, I apologize for that. I, uh... Set off the bear smoke traps? alarm. <laughs> That's not fair. All right, bear traps. Avoid the bear traps or use a single slash to set them off. There we go. But, as I was saying, uh, use dash. These are not well designed games, generally speaking. They are designed to get some concepts across, some elements of the story across, but nothing is designed Whoa! as Let's do it again. a perfect I'd game. I'd rather we didn't, thank you very much. I nearly lost my lunch. And my goodness, the commentary that Lyra and Pan provide is ridiculous. I don't know about this. Well, we have to do it, Pan, so deal with it. I have a tendency to die during this, so that's why I got really quiet there. Um, but this game is definitely not designed to be a quality game, much, much like any movie tie-in game. Do you enjoy fighting? Like with those wolves back there. Armored bears are born of war. It is what we are. I enjoy fighting as you enjoy breathing. So yeah, we have little moments like that, which are actually almost direct lines from the book, if I remember correctly. So very interesting to have these elements that really tie in well with the book and theme thematically especially with the book but gameplay wise as you can tell i most Look likely at all the ice around that boat i bet it's been here for ages mm. maybe it was a pirate ship don't tell me you want to go exploring no we can't we have a job to do well said lyra can we get moving? This wind is murder on my fur. <laughs> oh, Pan. Um, it's definitely trying to get elements across. Ooh, we can get our armor. Sky Iron. Seek out Sky Iron to equip Yurik with Master Grade armor. Perfect. Much better. Grappling. Press A and X to grab enemies. After grabbing an enemy, enemy quickly push buttons to try different grappling moves. Grapple A X. X in directional throw. A in three suit. A. Eh. 
Sounds good to me. Careful! Yurik, there's so many of them! Yes. I will not give them time to defend themselves. I don't actually pay attention to any thing, really. As you can probably tell, I'm still just slashing. A plus. <laughs> All right. You're on a roll, Yerek. But, here, what we mostly have, and this is really the conversation I want to have with this, is, it's not a good game. It's actually a terrible game. But it's a really interesting adaptation. Alright. Deal with this. Basically, a game of Simon, and I screwed it up. <laughs> Thank you, Lyra. And the fact that if you mess it up, Lyra gets back on. We have to get across. This is the simplest thing, and I keep screwing it up. <laughs> All right. There we go. You're the best, Yerick. I knew you could do it. All right. And and it isn't good for multiple reasons. I think that it would be suited to having a movable camera, which it doesn't I have. I find a way to the Saint Marie camp from there. Yerick, if you help me up to the mast of the boat. I can cross it and get to the cave. I do not wish to leave you alone, Lyra. I'm a big girl, and plus I have Pan to take care of me. Now help me up. Alright, let's do this. Beautiful. Alright, here we are. And now we are into the Lyra tutorial section. Because ultimately, when you think about it, all opening sections of games are really just tutorial sections. And... It, it does not make sense for this to be balancing like that, but... That's what they decided this motion needs to be for Lyra. Glad we have you here to help us balance, Pan. There we go. All right. Terrific job, Lyra. So, we've already seen the nature of um, Yurik's gameplay. Yurik is basically entirely combat. So now here we get to see Lyra's gameplay. And Lyra uses her demon Pan and his various forms to help interact with her environment. So here, Ermin Insight. Press and hold X to enter Insight mode and move the cursor over objects to find clues. So that tells us we need Sloth Form to use the swing. And here we get Sloth Form. So Pan is now a sloth. So let's do it, Pan. We are going to jump and whip. Beautiful. And we reach a checkpoint, we so it. Lyra does a little dance. But it, basically, Lyra is exploration. 
almost entirely. Courage orbs. Find three courage orbs and earn one courage point. Courage points are lost if Lyra is hit by a hazard or loses certain challenges. If Lyra loses all of her courage points, she will have to retry from a checkpoint. Do you think Yurik will be okay back there? Of course, he's a bear. There we go. And because this is what I do, I try to get everything. Simplifies life down the line. Um, let's see. Oh, nothing over there. But you can kind of see. For Lyra, it's a little bit better um, as far as the on rails approach for everything. It actually adjusts her camera a bit more than it does with um, Yurik, which I appreciate. But. All in all, I don't like it when the camera is on rails like this. Quiet, Pan. Something doesn't seem right. Mm. Let's switch to ermine form again. Is that? Watch out! Like with this, I would like to be able to. Watch out! So helpful, Pan. Oh! Looks like I did lose some courage points there, so that's a little annoying. But all is well. Maybe we could use one of those stalactites to cross. Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant, Pan. So, I'm gonna jump. Get us over here. Alright. So, rock pile nicely formed, evenly weighted, aerodynamic. These rocks were just made for throwing. Wonderful. Thank you for telling us. Exactly. Throwing. Move the cursor to aim and use X to throw projectiles. Try to knock down a loose stalactite. All right, there we go. So now we are able to go on. Oh, and I missed. All right. Uh. Again, one of those little bits of 3D platforming where if I was able to move the camera a bit more would probably have a slightly easier time. There we go. There we go. Genius work. There we go. That smells like food. Someone must be nearby. Stay close. Sure enough. There's the person. Evasion. Watch for the bottom button for the button point prompts to dodge attacks. So here is Lyra's form of combat. So simple. Moving of the cursor, basically. I apologize, I just lost all my volume. There we are. Now, why this becomes meaningful is basically in regard to... Sorry about that, mister, but we have a boy to rescue. Yes, you do, Lyra. Um, but thinking about this as an adaptation of the book, um, The Golden Compass, or the... Um, Let's do it, Pam. Or The Northern Lights... There we go. Oh, barely made that one. Come on. Let me get these. 
It's beautiful. There we are. The one of the but if you think about this as an adaptation of the and there's our wildcat form. Wildcat form. Press um, the D-pad to da down to select the wildcat form and use X to, da to dash and avoid hazards. Sounds good to me. If you dash, you can get to them faster. Go. Actually, a relatively easy challenge to get through. Um, but here we are to our checkpoint. Fine work. Each of Yurik's grapples can help in a different. Oh, didn't let me finish saying it. Wonderful. He seems okay, at least. All right. Where are they taking him? I don't like the look of this. We need to get down there. Uh oh. I can't watch. It is good to see you are safe, child. The same will not be said for these hunters. Well, here we go. Little final battle for us to finish this off. Nice little way to end the episode. Basically get through. Need to use the rage attack yet. Stupid game. The bear. Where there we are. I do appreciate the acknowledgement that you're dealing with humans with demons. Angry Yurik. All right. Come get me, Face me. All right. Here we are to the boss fight. My hunters dead. My camp destroyed. Why do you attack us, Panzerbjorn? You steal children for gold, and you must answer for those lives. Today, you will die in the shadow of my ancestors. I don't think so, buddy. Or you will join them. There we go. Easy. Ah, yeah, it doesn't let you go too far with it, unfortunately. You are weak. I'm gonna get that bit of sky iron. All right. You will pay dearly for the loss of that. Yeah, take this. 
but I'm sure you can kind of tell that I'm just spamming the attack button, basically, and I'm getting through this fight with ease. That's an indication of the type of game this is, <laughs> truly. I finished now, that boss fight in go to your a minute. Ancestors and answer for your crimes here. <laughs> And we did it. We found him. There we are. And you are both safe. You did well, Lyra. Very well indeed. Use Ermin Insight to help you figure out where to go next. But I think if it'll let me pause it. All right, two months ago. Oops. Ah, but I That's not what I wanted. For this is not how the story begins. In fact. Oh, it does let me pause it. All right. Oh nope! It may it jumped. That made it jump ahead. I can't wait. To I apologize. He's been gone for so long. I can hardly remember what he looks like. Do you think he'll bring us that walrus tusk he always promises? I want to hear about all the experiments he's been doing. I bet he's seen witches and scralings and all sorts of things. Do you think he'll take us with him when he leaves this time? About as much chance as him bringing the walrus tusk, I suppose. Don't say that, Pam. I bet he will take us, and we'll go on all sorts of adventures. We go on all sorts of adventures here, Lyra. All right, so with that, All right. All right. So with that, I am going to end this episode. We will start the next episode with Lyra hiding from Mrs. Lonsdale. Um, and we will continue from there. Um, I think that my first uh, additional episode this week will actually just be a discussion episode, specifically with over... Um, the Golden Compass and what we're trying to talk about here. I I apologize that I wasn't super talky this episode. Um, certainly not in a purposeful manner because there's just so much dialogue that gets randomly thrown into this game and I always forget about that. But we will have a nice conversation about this on Friday um, with the additional episode. Um, and we basically, uh, today was basically tutorial mode, so got to see the basics of the game. This next episode will be a little bit more tutorial. It's very Lyra-focused, obviously. Um, and we will continue from there. So until next time, everybody, this is your game professor. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. Be sure to follow the links to my website and my Facebook page, um, as well as to the discord server so that we can actually start building out the conversation here that's the point of this channel i want us to have a conversation about games and about gaming as a whole in a real world sense and in an academic sense however we want to talk about it um obviously my focus being somewhat academic in nature but the reason i want to be academic about it is to make talking about games a more everyday thing so until next time everybody follow those links hit that subscribe button this is your game professor signing off and i will see you next time